Lesson 19 homework. Divide and then check using multiplication. The first one is done for you. So let's skip to B, 90 divided by 40. So I'll set it up, 90 divided by 40. So how many times can 40 go into 9? Well, that would be 0, so I'm going to put a 0 above the 9. But 40 goes into 90 2 times. 2 times 40 is 80. We subtract and get 2, remainder 10. And then to check, we would do the 40 times 2 is equal to 80 plus the remainder is equal to 90. So we get 90 there. We started with 90, so that checks out. C, 95 divided by 60. So 60 can't go into 9, but 60 goes into 95 one time. 1 times 60 is 60. If we subtract, we get 35. So our answer is 1, remainder 35. So to check, we would do 60 times 1 is 60 plus the 35 should be 95. D, 280 divided by 30. So 30 can't go into 2. It can't go into 28, but it can go into 280. I'm just going to go down to 3. and Look at how many times 3 can go into 28. And think, forget about the zeros for a second. So 3 times 8 is 24. Could probably go in another time. 3 times 7, or 3 times 9 is 27. And 3 times 10 is 30, which would be too big. So it can go in 9 times. 9 times 30 is 270. If we subtract, we get 10. So it's 9 remainder 10. And then our check is 30 times 9 equals 270. 270 plus 10, our remainder, is 280. So that works. 437 divided by 60. Let's see, so 60 can't go into 4. It can't go into 43. But 6, 60 times 5 would be 300. We could probably do another one. 60 times 6 would be 360. And 60 times 7 would be 420. So that's as close as we can get. So 60 times 7 is 420. We'll get a remainder of 17. So 7 remainder 17. And to check, we would do 60 times 7 equals 420. 420 plus 17 equals 437. 437. So that works. And lastly, 346 divided by 80. So 80 can't go into 3, it can't go into 34. But let's think about our math facts. So 80 times 5, that would be too big because that would be 400. So let's try 80 times 4 is 32, 320. So we can go in four times, 320. If we subtract, we get 26, so remainder 26. And to check, we would do three times 30, not 30, 80 times four is equal to 320. And 320 plus 26 is equal to 346. And that is where we started. Number two, a number divided by 40, so something divided by 40, has a quotient, quotient is the answer to a division problem, of 6 remainder 16. Find the number. So we can do this using the check method. So I can do 40 times 6 is equal to 240. And then our remainder was 16, so we just need to add that on to the end. And we get 256. A shipment of 288 reams of paper was delivered. 
Each of the 30 classrooms received an equal share of the paper. Any extra reams were stored. After the paper was distributed to the classrooms, how many reams of paper were stored? Okay, well let's figure out how much each teacher get and gets and then we'll see how many are left over. So there's 288. We divide it by 30 classrooms. So 30 can't go into 2, it can't go into 28, but 30 could go into 288. Let's see, 30 time, 3 times 9 is 270, so that's as close as we can get. So 270. We subtract, so 9, remainder, 18. So each classroom gets 9. nine reams but that wasn't the question the question is how many reams of paper were stored so how many were left over well that would be the remainder so 18 were stored that is our answer number four how many groups of 60 are in 244 so groups of 60 in 244 so 244 divided by 60 so 60 can't go into 2, it can't go into 24, but 60 can go into 244. Let's see, 6 times 4 is 24, so that's as close as we can get. 6 times 40 would be 240. So we have 4 remainder 4, but only 4 whole groups of 60 can go into. 244.